I am darkness and silence. I am also light and breath. The universe with a silent thought opens and closes the eyes of countless stars. They blink suns, constellations, galaxies. They twirl and whirl in small, medium and huge circles. Their footprints dance over space in a dance that marks infinity. billion years ago, the explosion of a supernova almost blinded the universe. A grey nebula of gas and dust seemed to cover everything. Several pieces of this broken star spun around. In this chaotic commotion, the heaviest materials gathered in the centre, and the lightest ones went to the edges. In this way, the sun was formed in the center. Then swirling around it, a series of rings took shape, and in them, clumps that would later become planets were created. This planet, that will be me. At the time of my formation, a great celestial body crashed into me. In this impact, we almost merged into one. But out of us came another being, a satellite, the moon, my sister. I am the Earth, I like my name. I take the moon by the hand and don't let her go because she must still be dizzy. A magnetic field emanates from inside of me, thanks to the iron present in my core. Its outside is liquid and it spins along with my rotation. This field protects me from the sun and the radiation that its spots produce. My inside is forming, and from me, many gases emanate. Steam, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Liquid water leaks out of my surface. It floods my abysses, and my oceans are born. Now, I am Blue Earth. I love my water-colored suit. Light materials emerge from inside, and my first continents begin to appear. Like this, newborn, the sun is colder but I can keep myself warm thanks to the carbon dioxide. In this warmth, I am like a womb where the first sign of life shows up in the water. voices, colors, deep jaws and eyes.
they all pursue survival in a breathless race. into me. Its tongue of fire destroys everything. There are only ashes and dust. As I do many times, I stagger but I go back to my center. But my residents suffer. Some never recover. I'm sure the survivors will find a way to get used to their new environment. I cradle them. I know they'll find the way. When swaying, the inclination of my axis increases and decreases. In this way, sun rays come to me in different ways. I've been through a lot of ice ages. Collisions with meteorites, seasons of devastation and of great heat. Like when the steps of dinosaurs resounded over me. Better adapted beings changed their clothes. They filed their fangs, sharpened their claws. And also over my ground, during the last ice ages, humans stood up. Only one of those species survived. I never heard a snort, trill or roar like the noises they make. It's a voice that names the wind, water, fire, and also calls my name, Earth. The humans are the greatest stalking species, hunting life and changing its environment. I never knew such a fierce drive, nor such a deep look. Now that my continents have grown, humans migrate I feel their presence everywhere. It's an endless dance, a tireless search, not of their prey, but of themselves. of years, I've been in constant change. I've lived through global warming and ice ages. I will face them again. 
life has flourished on me in different forms, like the branches of a tree. I've had larger amounts of greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, in my atmosphere in the past. Even though they raise my temperature, I've always been able to compensate for this heat. These are gases that have constantly been in my body. They are washed down by the rain, and I capture them inside me, removing them from the atmosphere. I can handle all of this. But humans do not control what they have created. They have grown without stop, as well as their needs. In an instant, their industrialized world has released gases that were trapped inside me for millions of years. To develop their home, they have excessively turned to the burning of coal and oil. This has caused a rapid increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases. This global warming affects all species. Before, my forests and oceans were in charge of balancing these gases. Today, human beings sweep away everything in their path without realizing that they mutilate their own future. They use hydrocarbons to produce millions of plastic products. These are their footprints. Wastes floating adrift that take thousands of years to disappear. I hope they will listen to me. My temperature will increase by six degrees and melt ice caps. With this, the sea level will rise up to six meters. Temperature is going to be unpredictable, causing natural disasters. Species of insects will change their ways and diseases will spread. With the change of temperature, seasons will change. In their migrations, some species will not find food or shelter. For mankind, I will be darkness and silence. But I, Earth, I am light and breath. I am and will be a living Earth. My future will follow the tale of the stars as part of the circular footprint of cosmos. I will continue riding the sky for millions of years, the galaxy's mane flowing across the universe. And I will never let go the moon's hand, continuing our path together over the infinite.
the time I have shared with mankind has been less than a second on a cosmic time scale. I still trust in their look. I hope they can make their home under my roof without interrupting the flow of my rivers and the race of my mountains. find the footprints of mankind over my landscapes. Their laughter, their voices, their songs. I hope they can recognize who they are and tell me, Earth, I go with you, sowing water and another breeze in your journey across the universe. Only in this way shall the voice of the human being ring above my horizon.